New Toyota Prius Plug-in Hybrid 2017 Review Plug-in Prius is a technological achievement, but it's pricey and we wonder if the regular hybrid is better for day-to-day -day driving. Verdict 4 Star The Prius Plug-in Hybrid is a technological tour de force and makes no apologies for it. If you want to make relaxed progress with some impressive on-road efficiency and a clearer conscience about the environment, it should be on your short list for consideration. That said, it remains a well-executed niche vehicle, we can't see it broadening the appeal of hybrids in the same way as the latest generation Prius, which is better to drive, usefully cheaper and more practical. So, be sure you need that pure EV mileage before committing the extra cash to go plug in. Toyota has been making huge strides with its latest Prius, managing to improve both the driving dynamics and fuel efficiency over the car it replaced last year. Now the plug-in hybrid version of the new generation is about to land in UK dealers, and although we sampled the car in American form last autumn, this is the first opportunity we've had to try a UK spec model on European roads. Plug-in hybrids are all about pure electric range, of course, because if you aren't bothered by the ability to drive without any combustion engine noise, you'll just buy the regular hybrid instead. The old Prius plug-in could manage a claimed 15 miles on electric power alone, but the new model doubles that figure. The gain is down to a more efficient electric motor in the middle of the 121bhp powertrain, and the latest lithium-ion battery tech, Toyota's engineers managed to double its capacity compared with the unit in the old car, in fact, but in physical terms it's only two-thirds larger and 50 percent or heavier. Toyota has also fitted a clutch to its innovative drive system, allowing the generator to be switched into a secondary electric motor, this has allowed engineers to raise the maximum speed in pure electric mode to more than 80 miles per hour. The other significant numbers on the Prius plug-in are a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 11.1 seconds, combined fuel economy of 283 mpg and CO2 emissions of just 22 g km. A 43 liter fuel tank means that you can still travel a meaningful distance when you're away from a plug socket, too. A full charge on a rapid domestic charger will take you about 2 hours, Add just over an hour to that figure if you're going to use a 13A plug. The Prius plug-in comes in just two trim levels in the UK. Business Edition Plus brings more than enough kit, with safety features such as rear cross-traffic alert, a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, road sign assist and adaptive headlights. You also get an 8IN touchscreen with SAT NAV, plus dual zone air con, a wireless mobile phone charger and heated front seats. Step up to Excel, though, and you get a JBL tuned stereo with a few extra speakers, plus leather upholstery, voice recognition controls, front and rear parking sensors, park assistance and rain sensing wipers. For £1,500, you can add a solar roof panel to Business Edition Plus models, it can add up to 3 miles of extra range per day, although that figure is likely to be lower in cloudy Britain than on the Costa del Sol. The plug-in gets different styling at the front and rear to mark it out from a regular Prius, but the rest of the package is broadly similar, with the notable exception of the load bay. Those new batteries may have improved energy density but they are still larger, and you're likely to be surprised at how high the boot floor is as a result. The total space on offer takes a fair old hit, down from 502 litres, seats up, and 1,633 litres, seats down, to just 360 litres and 1,204 litres. That's more than you'd get in the average Super Mini, but less than many family hatchbacks. The plug-in can operate in one of four modes. HV manages the power delivery from combustion engine and electric motor, always choosing the most efficient way of making progress. Battery charge allows you to use up a little more fuel and top up the battery level, in case you're en route to a city center where you need to run in pure electric mode. Then EV mode sticks to pure electric power, 
only using the petrol engine when the throttle is wide open, and it has a further setting, F City, where power is reduced for even greater range in lower speed urban environments. On the road, the extra 150 kilograms in the plug-in does make itself known somewhat. Accelerating to 60 miles per hour requires a measure of patience, and the brake pedal modulation is particularly compromised, perhaps a result of the extra amount of car it's having to stop, but also down to the complexity of a system dealing with slowing the car and recharging the battery. Still, at least the gains made by the regular price in motorway running have been transferred here. The plug-in CVT gearbox will still send engine revs skywards if you demand full power. But it's quicker than before to die down again, as the system uses a little torque from the electric motor to get over any demands for sudden acceleration or steep inclines. The only place, in fact, where the Prius plug-in really trips over itself is on faster, twisty routes, like a British B-Road, in fact. There. The extra weight and the tall profile 15IN tires do it no favors, you can feel the weight shifting around under changes of direction, and there's a fair amount of body roll, leaving you in little doubt that this car does push the weight limits of Toyota's Tenga platform to the max. But then, the Prius plug-in is not designed as a B-Road weapon. And if you do behave in town and when cruising, it will reward you with some pretty impressive refinement to match the instant acceleration that only an electric motor can bring. There's barely the faintest whine as you pull away and when you're cruising gently in hybrid mode, the combustion engine drops into a background thrum pretty quickly. Inside, the plug-in's dash is very similar to the regular cars, apart from some extra graphics on the display screen and a few additional buttons to allow you to switch between the car's operating modes. There's a decent amount of space for two adults up front, but it's worth bearing in mind that the rear cabin has only two seats. The dash is dominated by the 8IN touchscreen, an inch larger than the regular Priuses, although the UK gets a conventional landscape format display instead of the portrait spec screen that we encountered in our test of a US spec car. The dashboard features good quality plastics throughout, and there's decent oddment space, including a couple of decent-sized cup holders between the front seats, and a pad with induction charging for a smartphone placed sensibly at the bottom of the center console. Key Specs Model, Toyota Prius Plug-in Price, £32,395, after government Grant Engine, 1.8-liter 4CYL petrol plus electric motor Power, 121 bhp, combined output. Torque, 142 nm. Transmission, continuously variable transmission, front wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 11.1 seconds. Top speed, 101 miles per hour. Economy, 283 mpg. CO2, 22 g slash km. On sale, now.